Alrighty, so in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the new low noise propellers for the Evo 2. This was something I didn't expect Autel to do, but they did, and I'm not mad that they made new propellers. This is the old prop, this is the new prop. Are they any quieter? Does it make the Evo 2 perform any better? We're gonna find out, let's get started. What's good everybody, Ken here, you're watching Original Dobo. In today's video, we take a look at the new low noise propellers for the Evo 2. I've got a chance to hands-on test these for a little bit. And I gotta say, pretty impressed. Firstly, let's take a look closer at to, you know, the differences between these two props. And they're honestly very, very distinct. This is much more of a rounded prop. This is much more of a traditional prop that you would find on a GPS drone such as the Evo 2. Uh, otherwise, they look pretty similar. If we turn them side by side, the pitch of these props are definitely different, and I'm pretty sure that's where the noise factor is gonna come into play. Now, one thing Autel wants to make very clear is that you cannot use the old props in conjunction with the new props. So you're either using one or the other. Now, this is an updated version, so I'm not sure if the future Evos are going to still ship with the old props or they're going to be updating them to the new props. My guess is they're probably gonna update all, all older versions to the new props. But if you were unfortunate enough to buy your Evo before they did this, you'll have to buy these props after the fact. Now each kit costs $18 a piece for these props, that's US, and there's a kit and they come with two props per box. So. Little pricey, but unfortunately that's what you're gonna pay for something that performs better. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw up some test videos here. Before I do, I just wanna lay out some of the sort of the ground rules so you understand how I tested these. I was exactly three and a half to four feet away from the drone with the camera. I had a DD D3 Pro on there. The gain was turned up to just three. I did not change any settings for each prop test. So I'm not boosting the volume in post. What you hear is what you get right out of the camera. That is the drone and the drone was launched in the same position each time. Hovered for about two and a half minutes. It was a little bit windy so you'll hear the drone spool up but that's actually a good thing because now you can hear what it sounds like as the drone has to hold position. So there's going to be A and B footage so you tell me which one is which. I'll reveal that after we watch these clips. <laughs> Alrighty, so did you get that right? If you guessed A as the Evo 2 with the new props, you guessed right. If you guessed B as the Evo 2 with the old props, you got it right. So in my testing, there is a subtle difference as far as the pitch goes for sure. The new props are definitely, definitely quieter by about three decibels or so. And in real world testing, that does add up as more stress is applied to the Evo 2 Pro. Now, what I was really curious about was did this solve any of those wonky vibration issues that users were claiming were happening with the Evo 2? So what I did was I filmed this in 240 frames per second in slow motion to see if I noticed any vibration difference or we can see the Evo perform any differently. And I gotta say, it, to the first glance of the naked eye, that test was negligible at best but it does give you an indication that there is something happening here with these props for them to make this decision. I don't think noise was the only sole factor when redesigning these props. Now, as far as decibels goes, these new props sit about 66 to 67 decibels. Again, this is not super scientific. That's just what I was able to achieve on an application that I have to remember to cancel. Otherwise, they're gonna bill me $4.99. 
Hmm. As aware, the old props were hitting about 69 to 71 decibels, especially when it gusts and it had to hold position. These kept breaking the 70 decibel barrier, or is it 70 dB? I don't know. Anyways, it was definitely louder and you can visually see that on the iPhone in front of you. So as far as noise and wavelength goes, I got to give it to the new props. They are quieter. In flying these, I have to say it does feel a little bit more agile, a lot more responsive in the air, at least to the throttle sense anyhow. These just never felt like there was enough of pitch to give it the proper lift. This definitely, definitely helped as far as the pitch goes. Top speed seems to be identical. Now, the acceleration does feel a little bit better with these props versus these props. Now, could that be a placebo? I'm not really sure, but for me, I do feel like the acceleration is better with these. These do have a little bit better of pitch than these god-awful ugly props. So there you go. I will go ahead and leave a link in the description below if you want to pick these up. These are official props, so it's not like this is some third-party company creating these. These were tuned, designed, and tested from Autel Robotics for the Evo 2. In my opinion, I would highly recommend updating to these props, especially if you don't like the tone or performance of your quad. All right, that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and leave them down below. I uh, will answer whatever you have. I'll see you next time. Stay original.